Hey guys, what's up? Ling Ling is back with another video and today I tried to make this uh, homey feeling, you know, I made the video more cozy and nice. Oh. <laughs> okay, my new friend here is apparently not really into being on the video. <laughs> hey, Nene. Try to set it up again. So today's video is gonna be how to survive biking in Beijing and why am I making this video? Well, because every single day right now I am biking on the crazy streets of Beijing and it's sometimes pretty insane but it's also a, an interesting experience and an adventure. But I also learned that you should be very, very focused on the biking or else, yeah. So today I'm going to give you guys five tips and, you know, facts, no, tips, five tips, tips on how to survive biking in Beijing. Ah, my first tip is also the most, most important one. Always expect the unexpected in the Chinese traffic. Never, ever, ever assume that everyone is driving nicely and following the rules. No, no, no. <laughs> because if you expect that and you're just like, la la la, I can bike here because that's what I'm supposed to do. Well, I'm sorry, but you're gonna be very disappointed in the traffic, in the Chinese drivers and don't assume anyone is going to follow the rules. It's much easier for you if you just assume that nobody knows what the rules are about. <laughs> yeah, that's. it sounds really dangerous. <laughs> it is kind of dangerous if you don't know, but I feel like if you're just going with the flow and kind of like, you know, following the guidelines, then you'll be fine, if that makes sense. I won't promise anything, but it's definitely worth a try. Tip number two is don't expect that people are seeing you when they're driving. You know, when you're on the main road and they want to drive. No, when they're driving. Well, don't expect that they see you when they're driving either, but also don't expect when they, they see you when they are turning. You know, so when you're on the main road, <clears throat> you're biking, and there's a side road, and somebody wants to turn towards the side road, they have a tendency to literally just turn, not even look. I'm telling you, I'm like, how can you not see me? I'm just here, it's full daylight, like, how can you not see me? But yeah, it happens pretty often that the cars, they just turn. So if you see that somebody's turning, also they might not use the light, you know, the blink, what is that called, like the blinking light on the side. So sometimes you don't even know that they're turning. So have an eye on the traffic all the time to see if somebody looks like they're going to turn. Because then you either slow down or you speed up so you can get out of their way before they actually do it. Number three, tip number three is about the buses because the Chinese buses are, whoo, <laughs> that's, uh, that's, on a, that's traffic on another level, you know. Um, when you're in the traffic, you're biking on the biking lane. Many times, very often, the biking lane is open and the buses drive into the biking lane to pick up people, uh, passengers, and then out again. So what I'm doing, if the bus is behind me, they have a tendency to honk all the time, but I don't really listen to it. I just bike and then they stay behind me because they cannot go around me. But if the bus is on my side, they have a tendency to just literally come up on your side and just go this way in front of you, which is like super scary. So when that happens, slow down, or, you know, try to move as close to the sidewalk as you can. So the bus, because the bus cannot, will always have a small space between the sidewalk and, uh, and the bus. But the problem is the passengers can be quite aggressive too. So I would say the best thing is to slow down if the bus is coming in front of you. And then if you can see that there are enough passengers who wants to get on or off the bus, then go around on the outer side of the bus to make sure that you're not going to get, you know, run down by the passengers. Because as I said, they can be pretty aggressive too. <laughs> um, 
you look at the bus and then if you can see that the bus has already been at the stop for a while and nobody is walking in or out of the bus you have to slow down to make sure the bus can start driving and then you can keep biking on the biking lane also the biking lane is used for a lot of different things and uh, Drivers have a tendency to park on the, dri uh, the biking lane, they have a tendency to drive on the driving lane. Um, there are places where they have small fences, so the, bikes, uh, the cars cannot get into the biking lane. But then we have the Kwai D. <laughs> the Kwai D has the little, uh, tr not truck, what is it called? I think, well, the tuk tuk is called San Lun Tour. The tuk tuk is also quite uh, annoying because it's still kind of big with the big box on the back of the motorbike. I'm going to insert a picture so you can see it. Um, <clears throat> they are driving um, your way and also the opposite. So that's the next tip. You have to prepare yourself because people, they drive in both directions, especially on the biking lane. Um, so the small quad will come this way or the other way, but I learned that if you are driving in the right direction and they're driving in the wrong direction, they stay close to the sidewalk and you go around them. And if you go for that rule all the time, you'll be fine because everyone seems to know that rule, you know, so that's just how it's working. <laughs> yeah. Whew. Yeah, I, I was happy. I was pretty happy about the fact that I had been walking around China and Beijing for a few years before I started biking. I feel like if you start biking here the first time you come here, good for you, but whew. <laughs> of course it depends in what a part of Beijing and like if you only bike around campus, that's totally fine because there are only pedestrians, a few cars around but not many. Don't bike if you're tired or if you're nervous or if you're nervous, start somewhere a little more simple, you know, like the hutongs or um inside campus or apartment complexes that's that was tip number four then we have tip number five tip number five is that um the chinese drivers are honking a lot and not even not only the drivers also the scooter uh people and the small things i don't even know what all these different vehicles are called but uh, yeah you know what I'm talking about there are all these different things and uh, they really like honking and the first time I came to China I thought every time somebody was honking it was because I did something wrong because in Denmark you're not allowed to honk unless it's like you're in a dangerous situation or something bad is gonna happen very dangerous is gonna happen very soon whereas here I feel like honking is a tool to make sure that everyone knows that you're coming right so <laughs> I actually realized that because I don't have a bell yet on my bike so when I want people to know that I'm coming I have to like yell out loud I have to be like hey and like oh you know and um, and that's the same what these other vehicles are doing they're honking all the time sometimes a little too much and sometimes just because they're annoyed of the person in front of them because the person in front of them are like I don't know driving too slowly or annoying or something they are honking too much but also they use it as a tool to make sure everyone knows where everyone is at you know to prevent accidents so I think that's a good thing just remember the honking is not because you did something wrong it's just because they want to say hey I'm here take care I'm here so yeah that was my five tips for biking in Beijing I hope you're a little bit more prepared I hope I didn't scare the shit out of you because <laughs> I know it sounds really dangerous but I feel like as I said you know if you follow the rules well not really the rules if you follow the guidelines and if you're um, just very focused on what you're doing then you'll be perfectly fine so I hope you like this video from Ling Ling and I hope you're having a great day evening wherever you are in the world and I'll see you again very very soon Ling Ling is out see ya and 再见 Bye-bye.